Namaste. Thank you for making it. <sighs> I've got butterflies. I've, I've never done this before. I've had a lot of interviews. I've, I've been to a lot of interviews, some tough interviews. <laughs> um, well, they say that the biggest fear in life, the biggest fear in general in life, there are three biggest fear in life. One is death. Second is going to the dentist. And third is speaking in front of the mass. And I have this stage fright. So please excuse me if I fumble, if I get nervous. <sighs> well, um, when I was in class six, there was this girl in the class. Of course, this girl was me. She, she her, her teacher, my teacher, Miss Neelu Pradhan, I still remember her name. She asked us on, this was social studies period, and she asked all of us, what do you want to become in future? Which was such a cliche and common question when in school, you know. She asked, what's your aim? And most of the, most of the, uh, most of the students in the class said they want to become a doctor, they want to become bankers, they want to become engineers. And then I was one who said, I want to become a Nepali film actor when I was in class seven. And everyone laughed at me. Everyone laughed at me. And seven years, uh, uh, no, 10 years later, I get this message on my Facebook timeline from one of my friends. This is very disturbing. From one of my friends and said, Richa, I still remember you said you want to become an actor when you were in class seven and you have you are actually living your dreams so hats off to you and what's the formula to it so there's no such formula that i have followed to be where i am today there, there's no such mantra uh, for me i just i just um, i just followed I just went with the flow. I just uh, followed the path, uh, which which took me wherever I am today. So, you know, people in most of the interviews they always ask me, "Who's the inspiration? Who are you motivated from?" Well, there's no such person, uh, you know, who 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 I am really inspired from or who I'm motivated from. In different phases of my life, there were different people who I was really, really inspired from. But most, mostly, I'm inspired from general people, like just people like you, who share stories with me, their stories, their failure stories, their success stories. So I just, I just sit down with people, just general people, you know, who are struggling or, or who are uh, uh, really doing hard work to, to be where they want to be. And they, they are the one who really inspires me. Uh, I went to Miss Nepal in 2007. That was one step uh, which I took, uh, uh, you know, in my, in my career. I started from ramp modeling. And uh, in Miss Nepal, there was this judge, uh, he's, a, he's a very popular dentist, Mr. Neil Pandey. He asked me this question. I was the, the top 10 semi-finalist there, and he asked me this question. Uh, what, what's one thing that's, that's unique about you that no one other has? What one quality you have that no one else here has? I just didn't have any answer then. No answer. I just ruined it. I had no answer to give to him. I didn't know, I just couldn't think of uh, that thing that I have, which is so different, or which is so unique about me, which other people don't have. And seriously, I still don't have answer to it, even now. I don't know what one quality I have, which others don't, that makes me unique. So, you know, in uh, my career, my dreams, my success, my failures, uh, whatever I have been through in the last 10 years uh, to become where what I have become, I have never followed any uh, particular formula or any particular, um, um, you know, uh, any, 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 uh, 
uh, motivation or anything as such, but what I have followed is uh, my instinct. What I, 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 was, I was always very clear on what I wanted to do. And I think it's very, very, very important because you have to love what you do. You have to be able to give 100% in fact, 200% to what you do and to be able to uh, reach where you want to reach. When it's, it sounds very cliche because, you know, the way I started with it was in 2006, uh, February, one morning, I just got up, I was just going through this newspaper and I saw this advertisement model wanted from this mo modeling agency called Ramp Modeling Agency in, in Putali Sarak. You know, and uh, you know, I just went there, just like that, without telling my family. I just went there, and then I, I just entered the hall, and then there was um, this lady, Joanne Manander, and then she said, uh, "So, you know, I, I told her I, I really, I'm really interested in doing modeling, and, uh, and then she's like, okay, then you have to go through a photo shoot. So we went through the photo shoot, and only three, three days after, I got a call from the same modeling uh, agency, and. Uh, uh, you know, um, Mr. Um, late Alok Nimbang, uh, he was there and, uh, you know, he said, I want to cast you for my music video. And, and since then, there's, there's, there has been no looking back for me. And that's, that's, that's how I started. And I have taken my career one step at a time. I am here right now as an actor. I've done a few films. Uh, few people know me <laughs> for, 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 for my work. Um, uh, and uh, now people ask me, you know, like, what's, what, what next for me? Uh, you, you're living your dreams already. Now, what, what next do you want to do? But what I have learned in life is as soon as you reach uh, one dream, dream, as soon as you fulfill one dream of yours, you dream bigger there's bigger dreams awaiting for you. So you never, you never get satisfied or you never, uh, you know, uh, get that, um, you did, never get content with what you exactly do because right after that there's something else awaiting for you. That's what I've always believed in. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, there are a lot, a lot of stories that I, I really want to, share um, because I'm not a professional motivational speaker because uh, I'm sure the other motivational speaker you know they were really good I'm like really getting nervous what am I gonna say there but um, uh, you know I have always uh, believed that there's no no um, success but there's no formula to success just just you just need to be very happy of what, what whatever you're doing you just need to um, uh, have that, um, uh, you know, when I was, I, I already shared it with you, I had that in me since a very, very, very early age. Uh, I knew what I wanted to do in life and now I can't think anything beyond movies. Now I cannot, uh, you know, if, if somebody comes to me and says like, there's another job we want to offer to you, but you know, this is where I'm, I'm really, really happy about whatever I'm doing. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's something I really wanted to share with you guys. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, uh, thank you so much to of this for giving me an opportunity to share some of my uh, some of the words uh, with with the audience here tonight uh, this afternoon. Uh, yeah, thank you.